It is the siren type that sings a song that seals hidden power. It is SLN0 Sikamar. With the kit of triple metaphor seal, light legs, and the leg ability of Mariner, which grants S rank on aquatic terrains in addition to the leg standard matches. Now, as a model available as a spotlight in Metarot S's permanent banners, Sikamar is a model you may or may not see relatively commonly as you pull for limited pickups or even collaboration models in essentially any other pickup banner that you'll find in the game at, through its lifetime. So Sikamar is a very common model and even if she doesn't seem super imposing at first glance, perhaps that, that unassuming look might hold something more dangerous at her disposal. Metaphor Seal on all three parts is an ailment based skill that upon attacking a target and successfully hitting them, will seal them with will, will inflict them with metaphor seal which means that while the effect is active they'll be entirely incapable of unleashing a metaphors that can come in the form of a nuke a team skill a revive a healing skill whatever it might be if it's a metaphor skill it will be sealed until it can be removed now the opponents that are inflicted with this are still capable of charging metaphors so anyone that uses say full charge or charge plan or auto charge leg ability can still capitalize on the metaphor sustain it needs to, to power up a lot of its nuke skills such as ghost or ghost shot or beam sword or so on and so forth but they will be an, uh, incapable of unleashing metaphors so if you do end up breaking those nuke parts and full charge or whatever else they have left is all they have that effectively ties them in a hole that makes them entirely useless on the field basically killing time doing nothing until you can knock them out Flight Legs means that she will have a very high base mobility and evade, as expected of Flight Legs, but she is rather light on the armor department too, which also is very much so par for the course with female types. With a head HP of about 3,000, arms about 2,900 each, and her legs at 3,150, as mentioned, she is packing some relatively lighter armor there, so it will be very easy to knock her out with one or two really good hits. Plus, given the fact that she is also flight legged, means that she is weak to the anti air skill. So, anyone packing anti air, such as, say, Meta Change Sonic Stag, or Shafu, or even Goff Bullet, will very easily knock this siren out of the sky and, and cancel her song. In terms of her leg stats, she is very much so emphasizing with paper armor. With, an, with a base mobility of 888, she is most certainly high on the field in terms of base speed. An evade of 1871, almost 1900 is very, very nice though. Albeit par for the course for flight type legs, it does mean she is going to be relying very heavily on dodging or grazing attacks to keep her damage low. In terms of keeping damage low, that is unfortunately where she falls flat on her face. Primarily for the fact that she has a melee resist of 739 and a shoot resist of 527 means again literally paper armor here and it doesn't matter what the attack is she is going to be taking a pretty moderately high amount of damage once that effect once the if the attack does land and if it is indeed an anti-air skill you may as well kiss this siren goodbye and call it a day all this being said though as a pure set score i still do unfortunately have to rate Seekamar a pretty flat four out of ten Having the same ailment on all three parts does greatly hinder her to a point, and anyone using stat cleanse will basically make this siren type effectively useless in all forms of the word. Now, one particular forgiveness that does make her worth considering is the fact that she has Mariner as a leg ability, primarily because aquatic-based terrains are a very tricky terrain in the sense that only one or two leg types at best are act actually have a mastery or decent mastery on it but having any other legs that have mastery on it will honestly make it even better. For this very reason, as a mixed parts score, I do have to rate her just a little bit higher at a 4.5 out of 10. Even, even though Metaphor Seal can be put to very good use in canceling or even stalling Metaphor's tactics, you don't really need it on all three parts, and it makes it incredibly redundant. However, even if, she, albeit she, be that as it may, she does have some very light uh, paper armor and reduction stats, as long as you can keep her relatively covered by a shielder or a defender of some kind, you could still capitalize very much so on the Mariner ability and maintain, to being able to maintain your high speed on a very unique terrain that everyone else might struggle on. 